Hey guys, it's Jonah. I'm here with the fantastic TV writer and producer Bob Cashel. Um, and so he was just at our mastermind and oh my gosh, just moved us with his stories and humor and it was fantastic. Networking can be such a daunting thing and you shared a fantastic story, um, an example of a woman you met and her approach to networking yes. that you thought was so effective. Can Absolutely. you share about that? Absolutely. Um, Met this woman on a plane. She was coming into LA uh, to, uh, to to meet with some marketing people. She was in the business and she was rising in the business. And I said, "What um, you know? What's your secret? What? Do you, how did you get in?" And she said, "You know, when I first started, I knew absolutely nobody. And um, what I did was I wrote letters to six or eight people, and it was executives at various companies. And I said, I just want to." Uh, I just want to hear your story. What did you do to get to where you are? What are you all about? Because people love to talk about themselves. And uh, so she did this without wanting anything from anybody. And those people introduced her to other people and those people introduced her to other people. Because she told me at the end of her first meeting, she goes in, this guy was talking about himself for 30, 40 minutes, and at the end he said, that was a great meeting. <laughs> she didn't even say a word, but she, you know, people love to talk about themselves. So, so that to me was the finest example of networking, just reaching out, throwing the net out there, and trying to see how many fish you can catch, but not to eat, but just to see how does this fish work? How does this, how does this fish work? And uh, maybe can this fish introduce me to other fishes? And then maybe if, if there is a connection, that person will either help you with you know, hiring onto, your, onto their firm or go somewhere else. So it's, it's, it's a, I think, extraordinarily effective. I love that. It's being more interested as opposed to being focused on being interesting. Absolutely. Love Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, and then, uh, what do you think is one quality that you've noticed that really makes certain actors really pop and stand out? Um, I think that there is a difference between an actor coming in and having uh, confidence and being cocky. Um, I think that there is an edge, a weird, like, strange, fine edge to, to what side you're falling on. Um, but I think that confidence is just sort of this inner validating place where you can say, you know what, I'm good, I, uh, I deserve this role, but if I don't get it, all right, that's fine, I'll get something else. Mm -hmm. um, and there's not a neediness, cockiness, there's a neediness to, and a, you, you can smell it in the room the second an actor comes in the room that they're cocky, and it just puts everybody off. What does that look like? It's just sort of a swagger, like a, yeah, fuck you. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like I'm doing you a favor for being here for this role. And you know what? Nobody's doing anybody any favors. We're not doing you a favor bringing you in because we want to bring in people. We, we're praying to God you're great for the role. And you're not doing us a favor by coming in. You're just, you're doing your, we're all just doing our jobs. And um, so cockiness is a, is a total turnoff. Confidence um, and, and kind of an inner peace and an inner confidence and inner validation that really instantly sparks us or uh, sparks the producers to, to an actor. Thank you. That was fantastic. Thank you so much for those sure. tips. Absolutely. Thank you.